you get specifically then into the gun debate, I think that there is a truism that's hard for anybody to overcome, and that is that law-abiding people pay attention to laws and non-law-abiding people don't. And so that if you said tomorrow that guns would be illegal, which I know that's not what he's proposing, let's say we banned all guns tomorrow, would that get rid of gun violence in our country? Well, I think the criminals would still all have guns. They all buy them illegally now. They buy them with a serial number already rubbed out, and they buy them from some guy in an alley, and they, they always will. Now, the shootings have been different. And I saw this uh, on the Chiron yesterday on one of the news channels. Um, all of the, the mass shootings of these teenagers have been um, legally purchased guns, but they've also been legally purchased typically in areas that already have background checks and restrictions and things. The difficulty with these mass shootings is it's often their first crime. So even mental illness, which is probably a factor too, may or may not be something we can screen for if they haven't committed a crime yet. Uh, they tend to be white teenagers, middle, uh, mental, uh, mentally ill, um, and then uh, they tend to do their shootings in areas uh, of, no, of defenseless areas, areas where there are no guns. Um, I don't think there's been one mass shooting in a police station yet or one mass shooting in a sheriff's office or anything. They tend to go to a school where there are no guns. Um, so I don't know if there is a fix. I don't think more gun control fixes any of, any of this. California has the most significant gun control. That most, most Democrats are not advocating anything beyond what happens in California. Um, they don't have, you can't have private exchange of guns. You can't have all the stuff that Democrats want to get rid of already happens in California. And yet, those San Bernardino pills were able to acquire all those weapons legally. Now, just to follow up, you're not suggesting that any regulation at all of guns violates the Second Amendment? No. No, but I think what violates the Constitution and what mm -hmm. violates the separation of powers is that the president doesn't even allow it. So if he tries to do something that could be passed by statute constitutionally, uh, it would be unconstitutional if he does it by executive order. So I think a lot of what the president does, not just this one, but a lot of presidents, Republican and Democrats, that they've done through executive orders, I think breaches the separation of powers that, uh, you know, the... Uh, the Constitution was pretty clear that legislation would come from Congress, not from the presidency. 